Recently, I picked up a copy of Nintendogs Plus Cats for the Nintendo 3DS. But here's the catch. It's uh, pre-owned. So none of the animals were originally owned by me. It was owned by this girl named Lena. Oops, it's me now. And today, I thought I'd do something fun and different for my audience and for me. I'm going to turn these Nintendogs and one cat into Sonic OCs because that's what I do best. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and if you want more videos like this, be sure to tell me, if YouTube will allow it. Anyways, let's get started. So, I should introduce you to these little dogs first. First up, there's Princess. She's a French Bulldog, and probably the first dog you got on the system, with your choice. I, I picked out a Corgi on my last profile, and um, I don't know why she's named Princess, but she's very cute, and she was originally got in 2012? God damn! I have an old save file. Anyways, next we have Smokey, which I have no way of telling when she was adopted, but, um, she's a cat, she's there. And then finally we have Zeus, the most recent dog. I had to teach it to sit a few days ago, so you could tell that dog was really, really recent. And, um, Lena, if you just so happen to be watching this video, then, um, your dogs are in good hands. And cats. They're mine now. Anyways, let's actually get started now. Don't worry, I'm not gonna show the entire speed draw, but I'm gonna tell you what I thought. When I first saw Princess in that little sun hat, yeah, she has a crown on in her other picture, but that's because she won the discus competition. Anyways, when I saw that little sun hat, I knew what I wanted her to be. I want her to be a little sassy, parasol-wielding beach girl. She loves the sand in the actual game, and all sorts of other things as well that relate to the beach. The little collar also gave me beach vibes, so I decided to keep it, but I draw that later on. So, as you can see here, I'm struggling hard to draw this parasol because I have not drawn umbrellas in such a long time. So, it's uh, really hard for me. <laughs> it's a more dynamic pose, and um, I'm not very good at those. So, I'm adding the ruffles here, all sorts of other things. But yeah, I also wanted to keep intact her bulldogginess. I don't do a very good job in the ears because I had to look up a reference for what the French Bulldog ears looked like because for some stupid reason they cover the ears with the hat in game even though you can obviously and easily just keep them on just with the hat with little ear holes. Why not? It would be so much cuter. So I decided later on, uh, what do beach girls wear? And that's when I thought sundresses! Sundresses is what a beach girl would wear, so I had to look up a reference for that. I kept drawing the parasol, fixing up things up, and I'm really, really happy with the results that came out. Um, Princess, I can imagine being a little bit stuck up. She's like a coastline girl, but, um, yeah, I really like her. And, um, I'll be keeping her around for a short time. Maybe I'll develop her character. Maybe she'll be in TMOM. That's a big maybe, because I don't know if she'll fit anywhere. I was originally going to give her freckles, but I didn't. There's, there's all sorts of things that, um, I might draw differently about her in the future. But, honestly, this challenge was really, really fun, and, um... I can't wait to show you the footage for the next one. I drew this drawing a few days ago and kept the footage for it for a little while. I thought about just making it a speed draw, but then this video idea came to mind. And now I have the footage for her right here. I gave her some wavy hair because I imagine beach girls got wavy hair to go to the beach. But anyways, time to show you the final results. Up next we have Smokey! So, um, I obviously see cats as, like, older, wiser beings, so I thought for this one I was going to make, uh, Smokey look older, but how? So I kind of just thought to keep it the beach vibes because she has a hibiscus in her hair. These are the outfits that they started with, by the way, 
and I'm just adding stuff like the clothes later on. Because, well, they're not anthropomorphic yet, so that's why. <laughs> Anyways, um, I decided to give her a short pixie cut because um, I never do girls with pixie cuts. I don't know why. I just love drawing the long hair. Never give them pixie cuts. It looks kind of good. Okay, and I drew her necklace and her flower that she had on. And I decided to add it on, like, a sunflower wavy um, beach dress. Kind of like princess's dress, but not really. More old like so I had to go look up a reference for that and um I started coloring I had to use the browns in my palette but yeah I think she turned out really well especially for the limitations I had with a few colors and I really like everything about this drawing and I'm ready to show you the final results And finally, we have Zeus the German Shepherd. So, I didn't really have a lot to change on this design, honestly, because she just had two purple bows on her head and she's a German Shepherd. Obviously, because she was the newest dog, she didn't have as many things as the older dog and cat. But yeah, I also decided, because she's the newest dog, to make her a puppy. You know, to make her a little bit more distinct from the rest. I also decided to keep with the beach theme because I thought the other two being beach themed and not her would be a crime because they're all from the same little family group. So I decided to make her a little puppy with a floaty on. I thought it was really cute, a really cute idea, and I think the execution is really well. I love the way I did her hair, and um, yeah, I don't have much else to say. Um, I think this turned out really, really good, and... Here's the final results! Hello everybody! Thank you for staying till the end of the video. I hope you really liked that because I had so, so, so much fun with making these little guys. And, um, well, girls. They're all girls. <laughs> that was unintentional. But anyways, I had a lot of fun. Um, I hope you did too. And I hope to see you in the next video. And even if you don't, then it was great to have you here. I mean, even if I don't. <laughs> this is this is a disaster. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I have big things in store. And probably more videos like this one where I commentate over my art. Or just commentate in general. I don't know. I kind of enjoy this format now that I have a good editor to use. Sorry for the repeated footage. I have a lot going on on my phone right now if you've read my community tab or read the description of any recent video. But yeah, um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I love y'all. Bye-bye. Yeet. That was an old one. If you guys remember me saying yeet at the end of my videos, you're an OG.